All right, and we are here, back at it again. Uh, I'm calling a series QLT, Quinn's Long Talk. And this is a bit, this is a little out there, but I think I, I want to try it because I think it's really fun. Uh, we're going to talk about the not so recently closed game, Dragalia Lost. Well, it is pretty recent. They just closed it down in November. Yeah, the 29th. End of November. So it's really literally oh, okay. a month ago. Yeah, it's been a month. <laughs> it's freshly okay. dead. Freshly dead. Freshly dead. Okay, good. So it's not a it's not a dead horse we're beating. <laughs> so today I actually wanted to see like how dead it was. You can't even like you just hear the theme song by our lovely Daoko. <laughs> Alright. Which one of you wants to explain what Dragalia Lost actually is or was? In our own terms or like how what they just a summary. Okay, so in my what I played was a gotcha game that was like unlike any other gotcha game there was ever. Like you had the basic storyline of your hero trying to find his sister and everything with his vagabond of pals, and you got dragons and cool weapons and cards and everything. And it was made by Nintendo and Side Games. Anyway, someone could probably give you a more informed description, but that's my description. I will jump in and say the game was the gameplay was absolutely a br- an absolute breath of fresh air in comparison to most other gacha games where you were just clicking on the screen, you know, you do a couple of you do a couple of um what do you call it um dailies, you know, you're just clicking, you're letting things auto run. There's no real like there's no real like interaction with the game other than setting up your units or setting up your uh, teams and then letting it go. But Dragalia Lost was different in the way that it was more of an action game where you had actual combos that you can do and you had to, and you were able to dodge roll and all of other things like that to uh, avoid iframes, which iframes are basically just um, uh, uh, the time it takes between an attack to connect with you and you taking damage with that. Think of Dark Souls in the dodge yeah. aspect. Um, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. a game that basically had a lot of MMO mechanics. Dragalia like, Lots definitely took a lot of what we enjoy from gacha games and basically shifted it to a different level, to a level that, you know, was enjoyable where the repetition didn't feel like, you know, a regular grind session. There were moments that were grindy, per se, if you really wanted materials or items or whatever. But for the most part, each boss event had unique things about them that changed how you played. Yeah, each boss had, like, different, like, mechanics that you had to do. You didn't always have to have, like, one set of, like, four characters you were always able to alternate with whatever banner you got you didn't even need to like spend money on the banners like you could literally even use like base characters that you get for free and even then like half of like the free characters are like s tier and just like live your best life i uh for a while one of the base characters was actually s tier the first unit you even got the prince at one point he was one of like uh the height i don't think he was s tier but he was definitely like an a tier fire unit you did yeah yeah when they finally released the mana spiral system you didn't was one of the best fire characters in the game you yeah, know i got and cleo like for healing cleo was also top tier oh yeah that's true i gotta say one of my favorite aspects about the game though was it was friendly to beginners and it was also friendly to more intense players so it was like there was always something to do whether you were if you are just starting out the game or you want to play it casually casuals there you go um casual players versus um intense players so even yeah. if you played the game casually, you were still able to do so much. And if you were playing the game more intensely, you could do like the trials that they had. To, like, I know I did a lot. With like six star units and stuff like that when they finally implemented that as well. Yeah. 
It's also really, really funny how you say, like, about, like, for starter characters, because, like, I feel like the only gotcha games that I've ever played in my life are, like, you know, casual, like, gotcha games. Like, the gotcha games I would play are, like, Cookie Run, uh, fucking, what else? Fire Emblem Heroes. Like, those are not as, well, maybe Fire Emblem Heroes, but, like, Cookie Run, that's not an intense gotcha game. You just run around with your cookies and, like, gather them. Mm-hmm. And, like, as a beginner, like, gotcha person, like, that... Dragalia Lost will and always be my favorite gacha of all time. Because of how user friendly it was, how rewarding it was. You can literally be gone for like a month and a half and you would like get all of these like gifts for being a welcome back player. And they sure um, knew how to spoil us. I was gonna say Psy Games literally spoiled the hell out of us. <laughs> That's why they had to shut down. Nah. <laughs> well we'll get to that. <laughs> We'll get to that. So, uh, yeah, one of the biggest draws for Dragalia Lost was it was the first, I think, um, probably the first collaboration between Nintendo and Psy Games. Um, back, uh, a bit of a callback to our the cards talk, uh, Psy Games is a developer for Shadowverse, so it was already a company that Bert and I were familiar with, and they also produce a lot of the animes that are available on Crunchyroll. Mysteria Friends, Rage of Bahamut, and Grand Blue Fantasy. Actually, Rage of Bahamut is not an anime, is it? It is. It is. Uh, okay. It is. Okay. I was making sure. <laughs> but regardless, Psy Games had a reputation already. So hearing that they were collaborating with Nintendo and the fact that it was a gacha game kind of made us both surprised at the longevity for it not actually living up to what we thought. But like I said, uh, we have a whole we'll have a whole discussion about that later. So now that we talked about what Dragali Loss is, let's talk about some of the fun of it. What was your first five star character? <laughs> My boy <laughs> David. He was a really? fire star unit. Um <laughs> uh he he was my first five star, yeah, Navid. Oh, I really was not happy for that because I really wanted, at the time of the banner, it was, oh man, who was it? I gotta look it up. But yeah, I was not happy that I got him. My god, who was Yeah, I think my first five star was Xander. (laughs) That's who I wanted. I wanted Xander and instead I got Naveed and I'm just like, this is not who I wanted. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, whereas Naveed was the fire sword, Xander was a water sword. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, I think your first five star was Hilda. Was it? Oh, that's Hilda right. Because I was the I was the healer while yeah. we were doing what's it called. I was like, who was my first? I'm looking through the character list. I have to look yeah. at Hilda now. Who is this? She my was the five healer. star light healer. Yeah, she was. Oh amazing. yeah, yeah that's super right. good. Man. My first five star was Mikoto. Yeah. The fire Katana that. unit. My favorite character ever in that game when I first started was Vita. <laughs> she was a dark poison uh, assassin. Oh, the three star dark deck. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. She Listen. was so cute. My That's favorite. what I'm about this. Like all these designs are so cute. Like all these like original characters are fire, and it's now it's just like they're gone forever. Ugh, I just yeah. looked at her card again. Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I still miss. I absolutely miss um, my girl Katrina in the game, the water axe unit, and don't. Clown me for liking the act. <laughs> no, we're they were my you. absolute favorite. Uh, Accidents so belong in the trash. So let's get into that. The um, so the way that these units worked were each one of them had a weapon type. Uh, I'm gonna go over the weapon types. There was sword, katana, dagger, axe, uh, lance, bow wand staff and then the later entry was the gun units which i I stopped after gun units yeah yeah i don't think i ever used the gun unit to be quite honest Mm -hmm. so what Um, was your main unit to play mine was a lance unit axes all the way 
We know. We know. We hate you for it. <laughs> Correct. Mine was definitely swords. Actually, oh. you were like bows after um, Serena came out. Well, yeah, back when the Monster Hunter Cerise, when I got her and I just spammed her to all hell. Yeah. So, yeah I was a knife bows. unit person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even though, to be honest, nah, there weren't. There, I feel like there weren't a lot of great knife units. So let me actually look at the five star knife units real quick. Like the ones that stand out for knives was, um, I was just talking about them. Delphi, Delphi, Ezalith. I was obsessed with Delphi when he came out. <laughs> I maxed him out immediately. I bet you were. <laughs> No, I was actually a bit of a staff player too, because I remember I had to like play Grace a lot in pub lobbies. No, remember Heinwald? No, fuck <laughs> Heinwald. Who's that? Grace was like the all-time <laughs> tier zero dark healer meta of all time after she came out. True, I guess she was the epitome of power creep. No other healer ever was as good as her. No, I'm gonna draw. Oh. Heinwald, Heinwald was really good in the aspect that he had a whole entire drain function as a healer. Mm -hmm. He was a, he was an offensive healer, and, and I think he was yeah. the only healer to really do that. Mm -hmm. Which it was an interesting concept, and um, I really liked the. Um, it reminded me of like, and this is going to take us really off track, kind of, but not really. In World of Warcraft, they have shadow. Um, uh, they had shadow priests. In uh, classic, where you would deal damage, but by dealing damage, you would heal everybody. Essentially, I feel like we we touched upon the characters already. Uh, we talked about the designs very very swiftly. So we've been praising Dragalia Lost a lot, but what would we say was his shortcomings? What were the things about Dragalia Lost that you just didn't like, or could have been done better? Uh, that update that made them use two worm prints instead of one. And yes. they just like nerfed all the effects of each one individually. I thought that was terrible. So to explain worm prints, uh, <laughs> worm prints were collectible cards that could enhance your units. And some units really became huge threats depending on what kind of cards you put on them. But uh, worm prints were kind of funky for a while. Actually, I yeah. can't remember if it was like two worm prints or if they let you use more than two. I can't <coughs> no, remember. Two. It was two. It, it was it two? It was two. Okay. Because um, I know Final Fantasy did the same thing. I think for me, that made me like stop playing the game and everything was when they started. I think it was just me being skill gapped. <laughs> God, uh, sk she really said skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say it because like honestly it was when um when the six star like weapons started coming out and I just had no units to like even fight or anything and I'm just like what am I doing wrong? When when just, players like, would just leave if they if they looked at your build and just didn't agree with it. Yeah, like that yeah. was just like that was a oh, lot. Oh yeah. The light Akito where if you weren't a four man gala Alex, they would leave. Literally, oh like God. that was just that was so infuriating. And I'm just like, how am I supposed to like get any of this to actually like move into the game? Because then the game started getting harder and harder. Literally skill issue. That's also like a thing with like dealing with like players like myself that isn't like a hardcore grindy person. Like I as much as I love Dragalia Loss, I wouldn't be playing it as as heavily as everybody else would, you know? So I would be behind. And then I would get frustrated because I'm like, I can't do anything. I just instantly die and I just watch all my friends full on being like bonk 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 bonk. I think I stopped playing when everyone everyone left me. <laughs> <laughs> I was the last one to keep playing. It's not about who we were. It was about the friends that we made along. Bruh, I literally got a whole ass new phone just to play this game because my old one kept crashing and everyone quit as soon as I got oh. a new phone. Oh, oh, oh my god, god, I remember. So fake, all of Mer you. Mer me and you literally were the last two surviving in this game. And I think I stopped... Um, uh, what was it? I think Student Maribel 
was like one of the last units that I ended up pulling. Oh my god. Like I I can't remember for the life of me what the last unit was or what was the last banner. What kicked me off the game was a lot of the changes they were making. A lot of weapon balancing or they I wait, they did something with the weapons. That they made axes strong. No, no, no. Yeah, right. There was something they were doing to weapons that immediately just bumped me off the game. Oh, <laughs> oh, was it when they were like telling you to like do all these Agito trials and like you had to like the upgrade the weapon. weapon, but you needed to do like an element with it and like do something else? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I just don't remember what it was. No, the, there was some update that happened that none of us agreed with when it came to weapons. I it wasn't that because like it was I mean, shortly that, after that was the Agito trials because there was a specific point where you just kind of got locked out of content. And you needed to do the Akito trials, but they were basically skill caps, essentially. And that was the point. Where the drag people... was it the dragon ones when you had to do the high dragon trials? No, those were regular. To upgrade the weapons? No, no, no. there was something with the weapons that they changed. It was around when gun units came out. Oh, Paul, oh, that was when gun units came out. They introduced some new mechanic with the weapons, and I just didn't agree with it. I thought it was the dumbest thing. Yeah, I don't remember what the change was either, but I do remember there was a change. Yeah, okay, so I'm not crazy. Like, that something happened to, like, the weapons that just made us all, like, go, eh. Like, well, I, like literally not a single one of us enjoyed it. The Akidos, where you, the Akido trials, um, Agido trials, where you had to do, um, you basically had to do the Agido trials because that was the only way to get a six-star weapon, and in order to get the six-star weapons, I mean, you, you needed the six-star weapons in order to do specific content. Um, but you know what? Yeah, that's also, that's also something that's insane about Dragalia Lost that they just try to pass off as normal. The fact that there were events that were weapon locked, like there were, like there were bosses that were extremely difficult and the only way to bypass them was to yeah. have a certain weapon, but you had to play this other event to get the weapon for that event. And it just became like this this monstrosity of just constantly switching weapons every single time you go to a different event. And after well, a while, like you just forget, like yeah. you literally had to implement the like fixing, you know how like got games have you like have like four, six sets of like four characters each. You literally had to like alternate from like different yeah. ones, like your I preset mean, teams. Mm -hmm. And even then you had to like edit those preset teams. Here's what I'll say. Usually in a, in gotcha games, they want you to, if there's an element, um, if they have teams and there's elements, they want you to have a team for each element, essentially. It can't just be, you know, focus on one unit, specifically make them a mega monster, and then just that person can just take out everything. They want it so that there isn't really that ass, there isn't that, um, uh, what do you call it? That, uh lockout where everyone's just playing the same unit but it ended up being that because well the player base really only wanted specific units like i remember when i was doing my um my jupiter high trials my high uh jupiter trials <clears throat> mm. and every single time i'd be in these jupiter trials everyone would always look at my current and they'd be like huh no and then when i make the lobby and then you know we're going through it. I'm the only person alive and the only person carrying the entire thing. And I do the whole entire like quarter of um quarter of its max health down to dead with the only person alive. And it's like, oh, this is what happens. And then, you know, each unit has its weaknesses and its plus its pluses and minuses. But people just got so used to your list. And it's just a prejudice, you know? People just prejudice. So this People isn't exactly mid max. Yeah. yeah. So this isn't exactly the game's fault, but this, this is just something that the community each, themselves. Yeah, the community themselves were very picky about what units they were play with, which which actually became like a financial gatekeep to some players because not yeah. everyone got lucky during their gotcha pulls. Not everyone could pull, you know, the best unit of all time. Not everybody but, could spend millions of dollars on gotcha. Exactly. But 
the, you have these public events while they were awesome because you could play with people like around the world or whatever. There was also an issue with that that I've never seen in a gacha game really, where it's oh you have the, you're gonna try and play with a two star unit that you max to five. We're not playing with you, and they just leave. I don't think it were two stars, but you know what I mean. Like they're they wouldn't allow you play off meta characters. Yeah, and I think the game what the um what Psy Games essentially tried to do was make a stopgap for that, which in ten caused a whole entire mess. Mm-hmm. Well, remember when they had to ban certain stickers because it just seemed too toxic? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> they were toxic. Let's be real. They, they were. were toxic. What was the most toxic emote? I'm trying to remember. The no. Nope. The nope. Oh, yeah. The nope, Cleo. Nope. <laughs> yeah, the nope, Cleo. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you come into a lobby, they see you're not using a character they want, they just spam the nope sticker until you leave. And then they won't even start it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so funny. Oh my god, they really had to remove the sticker from the game. Uh, <laughs> yo, that had me that got me messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh. So we, we talked about this a little bit, but I just wanna I wanna ask again, why was Dragalia Lost important to us? It was the first gotcha game that I seriously got so into and i was able to play it with my friends true it was like the one game we all like got the squad to play together yeah that's like that honestly that that is something that i hold near and dear about it is the fact that like you could like queue up with friends and like play live and play on Discord and like all play on mobile games. I'm sure there's tons, especially now, like there's tons of mobile games that we could do the same thing with. But that was the very first one. And it was just, it was nuts how it brought like everything together. I mean, the Dragalia loss is the reason we have a gotcha tab in our Discord right now. Because yeah. originally it was for Dragalia loss, but since the game, you know, it had its issues and now it's shut, it just became the gotcha general corner. Yeah. Even then, it's put. You know, I gotta say though, another thing I kind of really enjoyed about it was, um, and another reason why I hold it dear is because it was a gotcha game where we were literally, as we said before, we were spoiled by side games. Like, mm-hmm. they gave so many free gems, so many free 10 pulls, absolutely mind boggling. Because it's something you've never seen in a gacha game before, where the producers are just like, here, go nuts, guys. Thank you for all your support. Go nuts. You know, we came from well, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, where I didn't spend any money on that game. But... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's right. <Rick's> that road. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we came from a place where it's like it was very typical to have to spend a lot of money just to stay relevant in a gacha game to being completely spoiled and we're like what do we do with ourselves i think we collectively played this game like all of us were playing it at the same time for i think a year and a half yeah it was a good chunk of time like a year and a half like we were consistently there were probably there were probably breaks like here and there in the middle, but the even then like there weren't like significant changes where we came back and we were just like uh, thrown off. Like we were able to uh, get back on our feet relatively quickly. Well, the breaks were necessary. There were just no updates and stuff like that. Yeah. Until Sometimes side games started though. recycling. No, it was when side games started recycling the events and stuff like that. People were like, "Well, there's no point in playing." And then they implemented the tier list of weapons where you had to keep playing to upgrade your weapon to a new, like, six-star weapon from that event. But you needed that weapon to, like, you know, upgrade your weapon. And it was just like, huh? This is (laughs) too goddamn long, side games. You know, another thing that I think kind of pushed a lot of people away was the, um, the requirements. Like the um, hardware requirements, essentially, in order to play the game. 
oh, says, God. as Mert said, you know. Me on you my iPhone to get off. 5S trying to play this game. <laughs> I'll keep crashing in the middle of fights. <laughs> Eventually, just like they pushed out some update that was just flat out like we will not work on these phones anymore. And I think that's when like that was the last straw for Mert to get a new phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the game was very because it was 3D. And, you know, you're 3D live playing with your friends or playing with other yeah. people around the world. Um, you know, it required a lot of power and phones really were not to, you know, they, were, they weren't up to bat, I guess you could say. <laughs> Jorgalia loss was our crisis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, like the way you play the game, like it's 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 a it's a one handed game. It's a one handed game, but like your phone rests on your palm and your thumb is just swiping all over the place. It's going to accumulate mm-hmm. heat, so like your phone would just your your phone would just heat up at some point to the point. Oh where my your- god, my phone would crash all the time because of it overheating. I literally yeah. like melted the battery. <laughs> my phone would <laughs> heat the fuck up. It was really bad. Honestly, with my phone now, I don't know if I'll be able to play the da- the game. The game. The game. The, the game. game. <laughs> Honestly, Tim, probably not. Your hand gets singed off. Okay, yeah, I'd have to literally hold it with one hand and then swipe with the other. I mean, Tim, I would hope I would hope your phone has better specs than the last phone you were using to play Dragalia. No, I'm saying with you know my phone because of how big it is. Oh, your thumb. <clears throat> yeah. Well, no, my phone, my phone. Oh. Yeah, how, how big, big your phone, phone is. is. Yeah, how big my wink, thumb wink. is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Such a big thumb. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is... So, mm-hmm. I have a question for you guys. What were What was, like, one of your most memorable moments of the game? <laughs> the light Akito. <laughs> <laughs> the Honestly, stress. for me it was the storyline i was obsessed with the stories and getting a new story update every time like that was probably the highlight of me staying in the game because i love that story and I'm, I'm now i'm gonna be real the last when they introduced that fucking brother i was like what the fuck is going on i'm lost where did i miss a step <laughs> i was like who's who the hell is this little kid Whose kid is this? Who put him here? <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> Who let this child in this bar? <laughs> I was in the camera part. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Go. I was just gonna say <laughs> that I was gonna say the most memorable part for me was definitely um the late nights just spending trying to like grind units like someone would just write in the chat be like i need this or something i was like all right i'll come on this <laughs> thing you would just pop in you would just play rounds and it's like it felt like it was like the equivalent of like asking someone to log on to play like league or something like it was that like 10 no 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 that's a- only not in league are on their own separate thing <laughs> no i know no i know but i'm saying it's the same way as like asking someone to come on in game you know like to go True. on a computer oh yeah, yeah. I think one of the most memorable things to me was the um, the summer, the summer concert. Do you guys remember that? Uh, no. Might have to elaborate <laughs> a little bit on that one. With Siren, when the the uh, the dragon um, Siren came out. And oh, she was that event! Do you know how much money I spent to get still. Siren? They have the event on YouTube still, like the whole concert that she did. That well, played for us in game. I would assume so because that was a really big event. I know. That was, was like our a... KDA moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the songs were bangers. Oh my, oh my god, god. yes. Oh my Everything... god. The the song that Mad Kids wrote for for Jagalia Lost, like that was oh well, my I don't god, wrote it yeah. for them, but like it the song that they like released for that, like that shit was fire. I still have it on my Spotify. That song, minute, minute, uh, the Fire Emblem Heroes crossover songs, yeah. fucking Just We Are me. the Lights, yeah. when they were doing the the history event. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, hold up. I don't think I listened to that song. 
Oh, it was like the boss theme for the event boss during the Ilya event when they first show you like who Ilya actually was. I'm like checking my Spotify right now to see if I still have the Mad Kids song because I'll be upset if it's like gone for whatever reason. Yeah, I still I'm have it, Mad Kid. But yeah, like events aside, like what collaboration was like the best one? Hmm. Of the ones I played, probably the Fire Emblem Heroes one. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say Fire Emblem was like the biggest one, right? Because like it was Nintendo bringing in another one of their trademarks or properties they own. They even had two crossovers. I know. Yeah, they had two. They brought in more units for each for the second one, I think. Yeah. They gave us a free unit for the first one, I want to say. Yeah, the first one, you got a free Alphonse. The second one, you got a free uh, whatever the girl's name was. I forgot. Alphonse's sister. I was going to say Julieta, but that's that's wrong. That's the light. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Fire Emblem event was definitely crazy. Uh, the strangest one was Mega Man. I thought that was a really weird event. You know, the Mega Man event had me. That that got me completely. Bit of a, bit of a head scratch. Like, what? I was like, huh? I remember when they were teasing a Legend of Zelda event, remember? And then they what? came out with Mega Man. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got baited by the... Oh, my God. That would have been so cool, Legend of Zelda. Crossover. Well, we already got, like, a bow unit before the other one. Remember, it was... Uh... It was the wind, the wind one with the little boy healer and the sister. That was the arch. Hey archer. yo, yeah, I remember them. Lowen, Lowen and his sister. Um, Big mama. No. Luis. Luis. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luisa. Luisa. I remember Lowen because everyone used him in the damn trials. Oh, he was really good. Yeah, I know. He was a four star, trial. but he's he was actually much better than what he was anticipated. Yeah, who was the, um, was there a healer that people used for five star? No, I don't think there was. For Valentine uh, Hildegard. Oh, for yeah. Hildegard. For, for wind. wind. Oh. Yeah, for wind. Because oh, Lone was wind. Um, yeah. Hang on, let me see. Th- was it Narlethotep? Oh, because Akasha. Itty oh, bitty Akasha titties. Itty bitty titties. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Not the itty oh. bitty titty committee. <laughs> I remember her. Yeah, yeah, because it was really just Lowen. He was the only one. And then Akasha was, you know, booty butt cheeks. Who's but... Akasha? Itty bitty uh, titties. Snake lady. Oh, the snake lady? Yeah. Man, I love yeah. her. I really said a wooga. But I said a wooga to her. all the mommy units. I was like, keep them coming. Also, oh, we Fire anyway. Emblem was not my favorite. It was the Monster Hunter one. Which one? Monster, Monster Hunter. Hunter. The Monster Hunter collab. Oh. I really don't Dang. understand the Mega Man one. But what was the point of that? Uh, no, none yeah, of us. No. I think Nintendo was just trying to show off like more things they had. They should have done a Legend of Zelda one. They really should have. Basically, the ball was set for them and they just decided not to take a bait. They really said, hey, Mega Man. I almost said Mega Mind. <laughs> Mega Mind. <laughs> Mega Man's being released on Smash Pass. Let me let's just shove it into Dracolia Loss as well. The fans will be happy. <laughs> Said no one ever. This is why Reggie shouldn't have stepped down. God. So I'm realizing that in our talk about characters and whatnot, we forgot about the most unique key mechanic of the game, which was shifting to dragons. So let's talk about dragons oh, yeah. for a second. Do you remember your first five star dragon? Uh, uh, I need to look at the list. I, I think mine was that. Zephyr. Or Zephyr, whatever his name was. The wind one. Yeah, Zephyr. That was also mine. So we had the same. No, one. I'm a liar. I'm not a liar. I got Nick Cog and John the Ark in the same poll. I. I cannot remember. I don't think mine was Nidhogg, but I know Nidhogg was the first one I maxed out because I just kept pulling him. But I'm trying to see. And then my dragon unit that I got to like 
whole five star like S tier was Mari Shiten because I just was a horrible person during that poll. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. And the money. So while Tim tries to figure it out, who was your favorite dragon unit? Anyway, Timothy, I don't want to hear it. Ooh, favorite. <sighs> I think that... design wise, probably Gilgamesh. Wait, our favorite? Yeah, your favorite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hold on. Uh, aesthetically, it will always forever be Freya. I loved her. She was such a pretty. You just love mommies. I really do. Let's just. It's, that's, that's my new name, Mommy Lover. <laughs> oh, God. You oh. know what, Dragon? I never was able to pull, and I really wanted to pull Leviathan. I was so jealous of everybody pulling Leviathan. Oh, yeah, Leviathan. Oh, my God. I wanted to be part of the Cool Kid Club, and I never was. <laughs> My favorite dragon was Cerberus. Oh, we love Cerberus. We love Cerberus. Another another nod to... Well, not even nod, it's from Shadowverse, but she was... Yeah. Getting her was just so awesome. Just seeing her in the game, the fact that she's a dragon unit, you just turn into this giant waifu, and it's just like, yeah. I just didn't what? like that her VA was different from Shadowverse. What like, is this gala reborn Jean? <gasps> she's in the Japanese dub or the English dub? The English. The English. Oh, I think, yeah, I think you pointed it out to me and it ruined my, my day. I was like, oh, damn. They switched VAs for her for no damn reason. Because I really I liked Jean. her VA in Shadowverse and then in Dragalia, her VA was like so different. I was like shook. I think my first five was either Jean or was um, Nidhogg. Okay. I'm My last I, dragon I that I ever pulled was a shinobi. Can we all just agree that the mini dragons were the worst? What? The which ones? The mini dragons. Mini dragons. Like the ones you'd get during the anniversaries? I think so, yeah. No, they But the cute. puppy! Oh my god, oh, the, puppy. the puppy was so beautiful. Yo, I have so many. I had so many screenshots of the puppy. Don't get me started. Puppy was S S S tier. Oh, I miss the puppy. Oh, the greatest April Fool's event to come ever. No, no. That was the yeah, like, Chicago lost that fun with their games. Because you know what was also great about that thing? Mm. On April Fools, they released the um the not um oh my god. The not the shooter or whatever? Game. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, dumb the... dragon, the unicorn. Bam. The unicorn. Mm-hmm. She was a oh. five, four star. Yeah, no, I think my favorite, uh, probably design-wise, I really liked Martimus. The big fluffy polar bear. I know he was a meme, but, you know. His Halloween <laughs> variant was absolutely No, 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 no. The meme amazing. of a century of, like, the dragon tier list was the, uh, what do you call it? The um, the lion dancer, and Ebisu. Man, Ebisu was also a meme. Oh, Ebisu. Ah, oh, remember Nimbus, the little one with the cinnamon roll. Who? Oh. Well, no, I don't remember that one. Oh, see? Nimbus. Yes, 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 yes. That oh, I see. The... Yeah. This is the one that's eating like pancakes or whatever. Yeah, the glutton. That my boy. That my boy. Yeah, that my boy for real. Nimbus. For real. For real. Oh, <laughs> Halloween Martimus was absolutely my boy. It was the highest pitched voice, and it just sounded like oh, it was so adorable. You know who was a really overhyped one that was that Gilgamesh. <laughs> I love Gilgamesh, <laughs> and I stand by my opinion. <laughs> it's okay to be wrong. And now it's not Liger was better. Liger, <laughs> okay, oh, sure. Yeah. Sure, you know, honey. I think my favorite one to use though would definitely be Nyarlath- uh, Nyarlathotep. That was a good one. That was he a was good one, really yeah. strong, but like, oh my god! You remember his buff? That? Holy, yeah, that's what the shadow one. Yeah, yeah he used the shadow one. Yeah, he was ugly. No, it doesn't even matter. That he was ugly. Like his um, what do you call it? With with the strength and everything, and then like the healing strength, it was. 
10 out of 10. Like with his Moonlight, like if it was a two tier Moonlight how, like if you upgraded that, his effects would stay for more than 20 seconds when HP drops to 30%, and then he grants one of the users a shield that nullifies damage less than 60% of their maximum, and increases yeah. their strength by 30. And these, even though effects don't stack, they're still lost. They are lost upon damage. So, like, do you know how insane that is, though? Yeah. Listen, like, I played Karin with that. That's how I got Karin to, like, I basically won, I soloed freaking High Jupiter with that combo. Yeah. He was ugly, but he was damn good. I. You didn't have long hair is still weird. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Anyway, getting off track. What's the next? What's the next? <laughs> no, we're good. I mean, I, this is. I mean, I. Listen, as long as we talk about Dragalia, we're not really off track. I just have things to set out just to, in case, you know, we die out or something. Um, so I'm just going to go with my tabs here. So next discussion is going to be about the weapons. Yeah. Six star weapons completely killed you guys' interest into the game. That's all I'm going to say. I don't think it killed the entrance. I think it just killed the way of how the game started optimizing, grinding, having to wait for things. And then honestly, the people like not starting lobbies because you're not what you have and like it's impossible to grind the game then if you can't even join a lobby yeah because six stars required to do like expert agitos and doing those is like Mm -hmm. (laughs) fucking toxic people just not starting lobbies if you didn't have like the min max perfect characters Mm mm-hmm if you didn't have Alex, you're not part of it. Gila Alex? <laughs> if we're not a party of at least three Alexes and or a Grace, we're not doing this. Yeah. Actually, no, I think that I this is what ruined it. When you had Agito fights that required characters to have very specific roles. For yes. example, you had to bring characters with Dispel to the light Agito. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Was awful. That ruined everything. That was the beginning yeah. of the end. Wasn't that's the Agito why thing you had to have Alex end? or you had to have Grace? Because those were the only two good units with this spell. Mm-hmm. No, Agitos themselves didn't bring about the end. The problem is in the in, community. In, the community no, like, wasn't that the and, line is what I'm saying. I mean, definitely, like it was the first note, sure, but in gotcha games you were always gonna have they're always gonna put out something because eventually when you get the strongest unit you want to use your strongest unit on something to show off you know how look at this big dps i'm doing or whatever but when it gets to the point where to enter if you want to enter that realm you have to go through all these circles of hell first then that's when when it starts to lose interest because it's like why (laughs) waste my time on this the circles of hell is the community base yeah yeah <laughs> that, like the moment you start you start being non-friendly to new players is the moment that you kind of crash do you guys remember the um void battles void battles weren't that bad i never had an issue with that i actually enjoyed doing void battles i need a refresher on void battles so I Dark hated the dragon, t- the dragon trials, the high, high dragon trials. I feel like I could never play one ever. Some of them were more annoying than the others, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You really had to know um when you, to get the hell out of there. You literally had to know the timing, and if you didn't know the mm-hmm. timing, well, fuck you, I guess. Or yeah, if you got hit with timing, lag. the patterns, all that. Stuff. Yeah, if God forbid that Not your forbid. internet that's, drops That's another below. thing. Like, if you're not aware with the timing, you're you're done. You can't play the game. Yeah. No, you just get killed instantly. You get yeah. one shot. And then you gotta, like, wait the whole, like, lobby. Yeah, and everyone at the lobby is just pissed at you. Like, they're like, why didn't you dodge roll that exact second, you dumbass? And it's like, I didn't know, or I lag. and Because that can happen. Like, you just lag. Well, yeah, the reality. game would lag just literally so bad. Like, you would instantly get kicked out because of, like, how bad your phone like, yeah, that. Uh, having bad internet connection, you just buy. 
Yeah, because it would show it would show everyone where your ping was, and if you weren't mm-hmm. green, you were kicked. Mm-hmm. Yep. I guess that's why it was also nice when they implemented the revive system where you got two lives. Let's see about you had that. To use them, you got less rewards. Yeah. And no one wants that. No one wants less rewards. That's that's another issue. Yeah, people would just like leave the lobby instead of reviving. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, what's the point? You wouldn't even get the reward that you were grinding for. You would only get like the 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 currency no, to upgrade a weapon. No? Yeah, you'd you'd get that's what you were looking for is why. So you would get um <laughs> if you had to use your revive, you would get it, you just wouldn't get as many as why. And it would take you longer to do. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was just getting currency. No, no, no. Um, no, so, like, normally if you did a fight and you need, like, a certain material, let's say you would get, like, two or three for each completion. If you used the revive, you'd probably only get, like, one. Yeah, if you get one. I see. Yeah. And some of these bosses were health sponges, so you were tapping oh, for yeah. a good fucking while, tapping, swiping, tapping, swiping, and just to be All told, right. oh, because this one person fucked up, I have to bite the bullet and take one reward instead? Fuck that, and it would just leave. And no, try it only on. counted your own lives, not anyone else's. Yeah, it wasn't counted against you, but this is the thing, though. If someone died early on, then you were absolutely screwed, unless you had enough DPS, because you were on a five-minute timer. In which case, and then when the healer dies, everybody just crashes the lobby. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah. The only one where you could do the whole entire thing without taking any damage would probably have been, um, High Jupiter, I think. Actually, no, you could have done all of them without taking any damage, but that took that took too much. That took too much brain power. That's too much rolling, yeah. There were sometimes people would like in they would um intentionally go no healer, or if you would take a healer, you'd take someone like Heinwald on uh, High Jupiter, just because they're like, yeah, we just want to DPS them down and um, not worry about um, not worry well, about my hit by my it. only healer was good healer was Heinwald at the time until uh, I got the what do you call it the wedding day Hilda and then Grace came out. Man, I love Hildegard. Hmm. And then Grace ruined healer meta. Yep. Because <laughs> you could use Grace in literally every other element. Mm-hmm. Which one was Grace again? What um? She was the, the four star dark healer, or no, five star dark. Five star dark healer, yeah. Because she didn't heal; she just gave you barriers. Oh my god! Yeah, I hated that. I literally hated that so damn much. And of course, getting barriers was honestly better than straight healing sometimes, so... Yeah. <laughs> and she was the only healer to ever do that, ever. Dumb as hell. Which is funny, because like I remember when she was initially introduced, we were like, barriers, we need heals, not barriers. And then, you know, some Redditor posted what you could do with Grace, and everyone's like, yo! And it's just immediately, just everyone just runs Grace. Yeah, because then, oh, now I can run Worm Prince that give me power when I'm low HP. Oh, yep. I can run Belina, because now she can be OP as hell the whole fight. Yep. I want to give a oh, special shout-out uh, to the Dragalia Lost subreddit for everyone there that just made guides, showed attack patterns, all the intri- the math equations on like what o- what weapon was optimal for certain runs and it's just it was just ridiculous but I love to see it. We love some good old tabulated data. Yeah, Belina, that was one that I completely forgot about, but she used her own life to attack, didn't she? Yep, and she got stronger the less HP she had. And she was one of the only dragon drive units in the game. Yep. Completely forgot about her. They introduced some weird units after a short amount of time. Like, remember the android chick? Uh, I think that's when I stopped playing when she got introduced. I was just like, what the heck is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was her and, um... Damn, not this hair is so voluptuous in this photo. (laughs) <laughs> it's coming out great though I like the outline it's just her hair I'm talking about the rest of it the outline oh 
<laughs> I'm allowed to like her hair, goddammit. It's like cotton candy. Yo, Mert, you know what unit I definitely remember? I what? just scrolled past. I just scrolled past his name. Your absolute favorite unit in the entire world before, you know, Galax, uh, Gala Alex came out. Who? Iyasu. The Shadow uh, Katana unit. It wasn't my Everybody. absolute favorite. Everybody. Absolutely Wait, abused Was that the Ikemon? That. Yeah, that was the Ikemon. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's because he was like the first decent dark character. Because <laughs> before yeah. him, like there were no good dark units. They were all That's trash. True. Yeah, dark units struggled a lot in the beginning. It took him a while to like get pretty much anyone. And then Dark Units became ridiculously overpowered with Gala Alex. Gala you can Gala. use Dark Alex. Units with literally any character. Delphi, Gala... Karan. Oh, God. God, when Gala Cleo was so busted, they had to nerf her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gala Cleo! Jesus, how did so I forget hard. about her? She's so strong. <laughs> you would just how go would into clean? High Jupiter with a four stack of Gala Cleos. And he would just DPS him down in like half a minute. Yeah. yeah High Jupiter was a joke after Galicleo. It's literally the meme. Dog. <laughs> Nature maker. The Cleos. The bunnies. Oh my god, that was hysterical. That was like the absolute definition of I'm a healer, but and then giving Cleo a, a wand instead of a staff. <laughs> oh my god she Jesus. would just stare at you and then it'd just be over wasn't that one of the memes someone made with uh, Heinwald yes <laughs> yeah. it was the entire <laughs> meme of Heinwald it's like I'm a healer but yeah he did decent Talks damage the gun. but you know how he did decent damage with his next topic worm mm. prints oh man I'm that gonna be is... honest. I don't think I ever like truly understood Worm Prince. I just put whatever like the wiki said was good, or like the tier lists or whatever. So Worm Prince worked in um in a couple of. I chose ways. the prettiest Worm Prince to put on my characters. They would work in conjunction with um. You couldn't just use one Worm Print for every single person, because each one was specific to different types of um. Uh, I beg to differ, Timothy. You keep thinking that, but... <laughs> so, there's a couple that were very powerful. Like, as soon as I pull it up, it just pops up. Um, Flash of Genius was a good one if you had a dagger unit, per se. Because they were able to get their combos out. Um, they were able to get their combo count really high, really fast. And what this worm print does is it will increase your strength at max level. It'll increase your strength by 20% when the combo count is 15 or higher. And you had worm prints like this, which is geared specifically towards a certain character or certain types of characters. And then you've got some like, where's the barrier one? There is the uh, meta one, Resounding Rendition. Is that the one that increased your... Um... No, it's not the one I was thinking of. They used to lock some of the holidays are actually like really like fire. Um, Freaking... I don't know if Candy Couriers is one of them, but that's like the first one I see that was like holiday related. But there, there was, was another the, like... There was the, the one Valentine's card that was absolutely meta for any poison unit. Oh my god, yeah. I remember Matt always wanted it. <laughs> and he was just oh like, why do god. I get stuck in eating this one fucking card? It's never Valentine's Day. <laughs> Which one? The one Valentine's Day card that gave you like extra poison damage. Oh yeah. But eventually, they made it so you stop pulling Worm Prints in the actual like gotcha itself. They took Worm Prints out. You had to earn them a different way, but I forgot how. It was like a event currency. Or no, you could just like buy them in the shop during that 
event. Like if it was a holiday, then like the normal shop, you could like buy it with rupees, like different <laughs> cards, but they would add the holiday cards there too. So you could just buy them. Oh no, um, not the Mega Friends card. I'm trying to find the card that you're thinking of that was would. Oh, oh wait, no. I know how to find it. Control F. Sorry. No, I would just look up fucking builds for Delphi. All right, so we're we're in a, we've we've talked about weapons, we've talked about worm prints, dragons, characters especially. Uh so I want to transition into um stories. So if you guys have any stories about pulls, missions, etc., just anything that stands out when thinking about the game. Hi Jupiter. <laughs> the amount of times we all did high Jupiter. Oh my god, high Jupiter. The amount of times we've had to listen to Tim yell to run to the Cardinals. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I, I swear to you, I have done high Jupiter so many times. I got to the point where I knew every single um, uh, movement that you needed to make where everyone needed to go exactly how he would attack in every single um in every single position how to get him stuck in the top which is the best place to keep him oh my lord yeah you're like getting stuck in the top hey listen 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 <laughs> i'm listening cut that out <laughs> <laughs> no nah, i'm leaving in enhance it even Oh no! Um, <laughs> I just remember hits. Galix dropping and we just maxing Galix, and then just how much of a joke that one Ahito became after Galix was was just meta, just yeah. absolutely yeah. clapping yeah. every oh, single time. My God, dude! The easiest height. Uh, I don't know what what weapon we got after that, but the easiest like version of that weapon ever. Yeah, it was. Um, what did we even kill him for? It was for the six star uh, dark weapon <coughs> or light weapon, whichever one you got from that. I think it was, I think a, light it was a light. I think it was the light weapon, yeah. But you needed the dark units in order to kill them to get this stuff. I remember I was working on it for Hildegard. Mm -hmm. I was working on that for Hildegard. And the only one that I could never really ever um, finish was the uh, the water one, the water Agido, the girl with the the or yeah, the water one with the one with the bow. Oh yeah, she I was kind of a couple of times, but she was absolutely she was batshit crazy. That's all I'll say. Because if you messed up once, that was it. GG. I mean, that's all you'll say. There's nowhere you know, like play it again. Hello. What? Well, yeah, I'm saying because I I couldn't I couldn't do anything about her. I didn't have wind units strong enough to take her out. Um, Get better. And she was resistant to stun. <laughs> you couldn't use the Hawk meta against her. Not oh Hawk. yeah, when when Hawk could like just stun everyone yeah. to death. Yeah, she was um immune to stun. So you. I remember I was so that. excited for Silas, and then he turned out to be like a D tier unit. I was Ooh. devastated beyond the bunny guy. Oh yeah. Oh Lord. my god, yeah. He was Man. not that good. Gala version of him. <coughs> huh? There was, there was no Gala. There was no Gala version. No, of there him. was never a Gala Silas. There was a Gala Ranzel, which flopped really bad. <coughs> Didn't they make a Gala version of him? Are you thinking yeah. of Luca? The bunny the bunny girl's um it's brother, that right? Luca. That's, oh, Luca. that's Luca. Oh my god. Wait, Silas. He was just so, a random Lancer. He was their friend. He was just like a random like character you saw in an Easter event once. He hmm. wasn't important, but he was important to me. Oh, him. Rowan's like, I yeah, remember him. He was the poison dude. Yeah, right. He was number was like... one. <laughs> he didn't apply. Wait, he was the one that didn't apply poison. But if someone was poisoned, then he would do massive damage to them. But then that massive damage turned out to be not that yes. much damage. Correct. Yeah. yeah, that's rough. It was. I cried. 
Did you? Oh, God. Did you cry? I wept. What were the um? What was one of the? Because I remember we we really did like go nuts on that light Agito. We I remember did. yelling. I remember yelling a lot, and then you also, know, uh, you know, I remember we haven't me talked yelling about at all of you. <laughs> God, um, no, we haven't talked about raids. Well, you know, the raids. I were... could barely play raids. By the time they end, I would crash. <laughs> I, I could never get through start. them. <laughs> that too. I would. My phone couldn't handle raids. Oh my god! Remember when like someone would like try and like join a raid, and like you would all just be sitting in the lobby waiting for that one person, aka us <laughs> waiting for Mert. <laughs> oh my god! Leave me alone! <laughs> oh my god! So to explain, uh, what made raids unique in Dragalia Lost is typically in boss fights or uh, Ahitos whatever you typically bring one of your units but raids let you use a full party so it would be your four squad your friends four squad their friends four squad you could all just attack typically raids were just like events mostly right yeah, yeah. and yeah. astral raids every week oh my <laughs> god the astral raids let me just say dragalia lost is like the only <laughs> game that made me care about the day of the week <laughs> Days of the week. The weeklies. Some bosses were locked by days. Like, there was like, this boss yeah. is only available on Sunday. This boss is only available like Tuesdays. And it's like, what the hell? <laughs> you needed to like, like, have a, basically have a calendar to be like, okay, this day I'm going to grind for this weapon. And then this day I'm going to grind for this weapon. Actually, yeah, typical I actually fashion. have like reminders on my calendar of what was on what I was that person. I was looking at alarm clocks and shit. Like, oh, it's it's Sunday. Gotta go do Jupiter. <laughs> oh boy, it's 10 a.m. on a Sunday. It's a new day. <laughs> Time oh, to get my dailies and then just ignore the game for the rest of the day. Until someone hits up Discord like, hey, I need to run this fucking right. So Okay, everyone hop up. The amount of times I've run out of stamina... Like in the game, like I'll run out of stamina, I just lock myself out of playing content. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. The early the early days when honey was non existent. <laughs> there was just wasn't was enough rough. of it. And then we got honey fruits. Mm-hmm. God. You know, I think another aspect of the game that I really enjoyed though was the um world uh what do you call it? The uh the castle building the Castle you- Emporium? Huh? The Castle Emporium? Mm-hmm. I guess that's what it was, right? Where you built your facilities and all of that? Yeah, yeah. your facilities. You had your, you had your castle. You could put in, like, fountains oh, and stuff. Oh, the Halidom? Yeah, Halidom. The Halidom. There, there you go. The Halidom. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting. That was really cool. But also, that was another thing that locked you out content-wise. Because <laughs> you hit a certain point where you had to do, like, specific trials in order to get the materials to upgrade them. Yeah, upgrade your elemental statues. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, I forgot that Dragalia Lost made the the hub world like vital to your runs. Like you had to have your oh, statues yeah. and shit, your fountains leveled up to a certain point just so you could like just so your character had enough health, enough defense, enough attack to deal with like these bosses. And it's so like there was layers to Dragalia Lost. Layers. And then the <laughs> other thing was you could not could not just instantly upgrade your base when you got the materials. Nope. You had to wait. Sometimes when you got to a certain point, it was eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours per upgrade. <laughs> and that was well, real time. Yeah, real time. Until, like, until events where like side games throws like free smithing hammers at you for oh, instant that was completions. So great. So yeah. Great. Hey, uh, can you help me with this at boss? No, I have to wait another three hours for my fountain to finish, but then I'll help you, boyo. You best believe I will pull up when those three hours are over. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. I think that's the like only thing that I was like so used to in like my other gotcha games. Like I in Cookie Run, like for you to advance into like another chapter of the story, you would have to upgrade like the kingdom. And like mm-hmm. right now I'm on level 14 for my kingdom that took me eight days to complete 
Dragalia lost. Max was like three days. Not nah, Cookie Run. A fucking week. <laughs> Jesus. You know, though. I'm so, oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, like, I, I think it was a very good aspect to add to the game. Um, the Halidom. It's like those little, like, those soft upgrades you could give yourself. Because it's like, they were very necessary as you got to, like, the end game content. Or, like, the high, you know, the sweat content, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Ooh, we but, um, oh, yeah, I was sweating. Not a lie. Um, don't ever do that again. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever word it like that. Again. Okay, well, I was one of the sweaty players. There you go. And um, <laughs> but they look whack as pee pee. <laughs> I think it. I think one of the... It's not what I expected to hear. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was really fun though because it was like it gave you that little aspect of like, yeah, I can do my little world building. You know, it's like a. Almost made me think of like Harvest Moon a little bit. It's like, yeah, here's my little base. I love Harvest Moon. Click on the little Stardew units Valley. there and have their little preset conversations. That's Stardew Valley. Yeah, Stardew Valley, whatever you want to call it. Get your farm games ready. Huh? Get your farm They're games. both farm games. What are you talking about? I said, Harvest get them Moon. right. Harvest Moon? Stardew Valley? Yeah, Stardew Valley too. Quinn, what's our next topic? Yeah. <laughs> Thank well, you. what were you going to say before you got rudely interrupted? <laughs> well, I was going to say, um, Rowan has brought up Cookie Run a lot, so this actually transitions nicely to our next question. Has anything scratched the same itch since Dragalia lost? Has... No. No. Like, Not I only play game. Cookie Run because, like, I have nothing else to play on my phone. Other than Cookie Run, and there was a BTS event, but even then, I barely even play the game unless there's like a cool event. Like, like it was... doesn't give me the same satisfaction as Dragalia lost it. Like Cookie's Run story is so base sick. I'm just like, huh. This there's no continuum. Meanwhile, Dragalia lost. There was an immersive storyline of like this guy who like. Yeah, it's like kind of like the same premise as like Genshin Impact. Like, this guy has to go save his sister and everything, but it's more than just him saving his sibling at the end of the day. It's the friends that we meet along the way. <laughs> the friends we played with on the way. <sighs> yeah, that's like that's part of the issue is like trying to find something similar to Gali Lost is like trying to get everyone in on a gotcha game. After Dragali Lost, for a while, we did try, like, playing other, like, trying to get people to, like, play the same uh, gotcha games, like Final Fantasy, Toxic, Tactics, uh, Brave Exodus, I think. <laughs> Toxic, yeah. I, I absolutely am hooked on that game, but it does not scratch that same itch. Yeah. It's a different itch. You yeah, it's like... playing <laughs> Princess Connect at one point. Yeah, Princess yeah. Connect. I can not even get into that. Which is funny because Princess Connect was also part of side games, which is why I thought, oh, okay, this is going to be like something we could easily transition to. But it's just not the same because it's like it's not the same, you know, move your characters moving around, your dodge roll and your attacking. It's just, you know, you're what you're it's auto battling. You're watching your characters auto battle and you occasionally hit a skill and you get a cool animation. That's about it. Yeah. We really and really lost was unique in the way that it played. Which is what made it separate. I was gonna say, and Grand Blue isn't available in the states, right? I mean, I well, play it. It's not available in the states, though, right? It's a browser game. No. Yeah, it doesn't need to. You can play it in English. Oh, I did not realize. Yeah, I've been playing that game for like over three years. No, I know you have. <laughs> but unfortunately, it doesn't scratch the same itch. I'm gonna say something mildly controversial. I think the closest we're going to get to Dragalia Lost, like, scratching it, is Don't Genshin care. Impact, unfortunately. God. Honestly, yeah. 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 And, I mean, it, you know what? It's not even that unfortunate. Like, Genshin Impact is a, is actually, like, a good game. Like, a lot of its ideas and the the world building and the playing of it, like, it's very much what Dragalia Lost felt like 
like what you see in Genshin Impact, like in those fights, those raids, whatever, that's what we felt when we played Dragali Lost. It was just on a very smaller scale. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what made Dragali Lost so special, though, is because it was like, it wasn't this big, you know, overwhelming MMO that you were going to get into, like how Genshin kind of feels. As I hear the Genshin way. Like- yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. It was just something small and compact that you didn't have to spend so much time on. If you didn't want to, I should say. Yeah. No, yeah, I agree. You know, Genshin is obviously a much bigger commitment in terms of like, um, I mean, it's not just a mobile game. It's a PC game. It's a console game. It's something that exists outside of just mobile gameplay. So it's so because of that. It requires more time, but honestly, uh, and I mean, again, this is like a fantasy world, but if all four of us right now maxed out a character and tried to do a raid together, I think it would actually give us that same kind of like feeling as playing Dragalia Lost, you know? Yeah, you ain't. <clears throat> what? Playing Genshin? No, playing I'm saying like, like in, a, in a perfect world, right? Like, let's say. Genshin Impact dropped. We all played, well, some of us played at launch, but we stuck by it just as much as we put in Dragalia Lost. You could you could probably say that if we played like boss fights all together, the four of us, it would I probably think, give us the same kind of like feeling that Dragalia Lost gave us. I think the problem with the Dragalia Lost thing is like we all actually did want to play it together when it was released, right? Mm-hmm. I was very excited to play with all my friends, but it's just none of us had a consistent schedule. And then when it came to it, like all of us were just at different levels and we couldn't really play together because of how diff- va- vastly different it is. And then like the world leveling was like weird. They probably like fixed it and everything now to like adjust it and stuff like that. So people can be more user friendly, but it was just, it was just so hard being like consistent with each other. It's like Val like remember when we were all playing Valheim and we just couldn't probably play together? Like one person would be frustrated because of how behind they are. It was the same aspect like that with Genshin Impact. Yeah, but I can like, see that. I mean that's I mean right now that's my issue with getting back into it. I do want to get back into Genshin Impact, but it's such uh it's more of like a commitment it's like okay if you want to enjoy this game this is how many hours you will have to play to be able to be on the same tier as like somebody like your friends who have been playing much longer than you literally since release yeah like right now i played genshin impact at launch and my units you know were pretty pretty damn decent to be honest leo started playing halfway i think after uh leo played during like the snow event or whatever that's when like they started playing and i haven't touched a game right now leo surpasses me so imagine like i have to work my way up just to even get in the same level as leo right now and that's not saying that leo's a bad player or anything i'm just saying that's how much time leo has put into the game and even then, the meta's changed. Like, the units that we used to have when we first started the game, we don't know if they're good anymore. And I don't know how it is in, Gen- in Genshin if you have to, like, keep pulling to, like, have a proper, like, unit team, but I got I mean, belt cheeks. My main DPS right now is still the same unit I've used since launch. Because she's still decent coaching. Hmm. She's the fire fire one. No, she's electric the electric sword one. Mm. Oh, does she have the purple hair? Yeah. Okay. But in any case, I do plan on playing Genshin a bit more. I'm gonna see if it'll fulfill the same high. Probably won't make a follow up video about it, but you know, I, I will. I will let everyone know whether or not I've achieved that as soon as I do just that. Um, I'm just waiting for my friends. <laughs> okay. Do we see Dragalia Lost 
the universe itself, this this universe that that Nintendo and Cy Grain, Cy Games has created. Cy brains. Cy brains. Um, <laughs> do we see the universe coming back in a different medium, whether that be a card game, a platformer, anime? Do we see them reusing it for anything else? Not really. No, I don't yeah, see I don't Nintendo see treating any kind of mobile IP specific well. Yeah. If they wanted to make an anime, they would have done it already. That well, is very they, fair. They basically, it was an anime in a mobile game. Because the yeah, they had they had well, animated scenes. Yeah, so like, why would they want to make an anime out of that when they already did it in their game? Plus, wasn't it because of like the lack of user base that they canceled it? Well, they were That's losing what? money, which is theorized because they kept giving away too much free stuff. Like people weren't spending as much anymore. Well, it was probably a combination of like giving too much free stuff and also dwindling player base. It could yeah, be a mix of both. Yeah, I mean those two things go hand in hand. You you lose players, you're losing money by default. Like there's no there's no way around it. Yeah, it's just a shame because like I know I know it's like it's just a mobile game and there's there's hundreds of mobile games out there that probably have established universes like Dragalia Lost and probably even more but it's just a shame that when they get shut down or they're not as popular anymore that that entirety is just gone not to be used ever again it's it's just a game you know why I'm getting mad it's just a game but it lives on you really do I mean, we're still talking about it. Today. Yeah, we're still talking about it. Still praising it. You know, it's still like a great. It's literally what got me into Gacha games. Yeah. I mean, Fire Emblem Heroes don't really count. Cause... Well, Fire Emblem Heroes, it's own like Fire bacteria. Emblem Fire Emblem Heroes. I mean, I'd been playing Gotchas even before then. Yeah. I mean, I used I mean, to like, like um, touch like I would play. See, the issue is like before and after Dragali Lost, I would like download gotcha games, play a little bit, do a couple polls, and then I would just get bored and leave. Fair. Like the one game I actually um, almost thought I'd get into a lot was Dislight. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Dislight was honestly really fun for a time. It was fun for a bit, and I just, just just stopped. I think I think I hit a point in the campaign that I just got I was just like under level that I couldn't be bothered to like keep going. I couldn't get into it for some reason. Me. I just got tired of the grind. I don't know. It just didn't appeal to me. I think a game that I tried playing, but I wasn't really into it as much as I was wanted to with Dragalias, but I was forcing myself to like it was was a uh, food wars or something food wars that's food an wars. anime no there was like a gotcha game of it as well it's not like the anime but it was like your uh, food wars gotcha game no not food wars gotcha game it was it was literally called food wars but in like chinese oh so the premise of the game is you're running a restaurant that has living anime food that's already like personified like Gajinga stuff like mm-hmm. that and like you are trying to defeat the evil hot chili pepper <laughs> that's one this of those a wild Chinese concept. gotcha game yes this is a wild concept defeat the evil hot, hot chili, chili pepper, pepper. <laughs> that's literally how you said it <laughs> Because you knew we were about to give you the the <laughs> sus emote, like excuse me. <laughs> he was hot, but anyway, that's besides the point. Oh, anyway, no. anyway. Well, actually, um, the the last thing I have written down, we we can obviously still keep going as long as we naturally want to. But the last thing I have is, where are we now? So, where are we post Regalia? Oh, well, I guess you kind of already answered that question. Like you're. We're still trying out, you know, every some gotcha games that come out here and there. Dislight is one of the ones we mentioned. Uh, Cookie Kingdom is one of the ones that 
we also mentioned. Uh, I tried out the. I tried that. I tried to like that one game that was directed by the same person that wrote Near Automata. Near Automata. Uh. uh oh. Like, um. Near Reincarnation. Yeah, I think so. Or are you talking about Sino Alice? Sino Alice is what I was thinking. Sino Alice was wild concept combat wise. Yeah. <laughs> I also gave that an attempt, but I was like, this combat is kind of weird. Yeah, the gameplay was a little strange for me. Yeah, the stories were great, don't get me wrong, but yeah, the combat. I still play Fire Emblem here and there, you know, it's a game to play, yeah. Fire Emblem feels like you need to spend too much money. (sighs) Actually, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> actually yeah correct shoddy when if you were not there for the days of pulling your freaking four star um who is it reinhardt you can't do anything that was it everybody has a fucking five star reinhardt god yeah yeah i'm i'm definitely heavily addicted to the final fantasy war of the visions brave exvius <laughs> I'm still on my Grand Blue grind. I think I'm at four or five years now in this game. God damn! Yeah. I'm st- I'm playing that um uh, that one. I'm I'm st- I'm still semi playing it. Like I'm not definitely not as invested as I was like when it first came out. That girl's frontline like spinoff because <laughs> it has like a roguelite element to it. I really enjoy it. I already I keep forgetting its name though. Neural Cloud. There we go, Neural Cloud. That's the one I'm playing right now. I mean, that's it's... not really a girl's frontline spinoff. It is. It's in the same universe. Is it really? Yeah, it's in the small. It is a small tag of it on like the top left corner when you launch it. Oh, that's, that's wild. interesting. I'm just gonna casually. Yeah. Girl. I'm I also lying. tried. I tried Epic Seven twice. No, nah, you're. I wild. don't know. You're, you're uh, I, I tried one. AFK Arena. That was a weird. Play. What the? Listen, man. When you when you're trying to scratch that itch, like you gotta turn to everywhere. <laughs> AFK that's Arena. Matt, that's Matt's domain right there. What AFK Arena? I don't yeah. know Clash of Clans. No, no, no. He played AFK Arena a lot. Damn. Yeah. No. I uh, I 100 found my itch because I actually. I hadn't spent money in any gacha game. Until that one Seven. fucking New Year's time that I managed to convince oh. you to spend money. I was and the influencer. You broke the dam. You literally broke the dam. I was like, well, I already did it once, so what's to stop me again? <laughs> and I think I have collectively spent over the two years two and a half years that i've been playing uh the final fantasy gacha games the final final fantasy gacha game i think i collectively spent like fourteen hundred dollars over two and a half years yeah i've definitely spent over a thousand on yeah that game is i don't know what it is about that game but there's just something that i just can't help myself I see the mommy's milkers and I just go nuts. You know? Huh? Ah, uh, yes, huh? yes. <laughs> it do be like that. It really do be like that. <laughs> Man saw summer mommy and was like, yo, credit <laughs> card emerge. <laughs> <laughs> but then I pull her on I pull her on a freaking single ticket and I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Right now, the new unit that I'm going for is uh, the uh, winter, one of the winter uh, units that's going to go away in like a week and a half. Yeah, the new winter Ravies. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, I think since Dragalia, and I actually stopped playing Dragalia for this game. Damn, mm, true. So yeah. Merc kicked out the last friend he had playing Dragalia. <laughs> No, I stopped playing long after uh, I stopped playing after everyone else stopped playing. Yeah, I was the last yeah. Still uh, grinding, and I was like, ah, "What am I doing this for?" Brunhilda. 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 I still wanted that plushie. You know, I will say, the Quinn. Hildesi. 
Quinn. What? Huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I will say, Quinn, thank you so much for that Jupiter plushie. Because I still, still have him sitting in the passenger seat of my car. He's strapped in and everything. It's a fun little story. Um, what, what Tim is referring to. When we went to uh, Anime and NYC, NYC, there was a Dragalia Lost booth. And it was so hard. There, there were some things that were kind of odd in that booth. Like, they had, like, folders for some reason. Like, the kind of folders that, like, you would see, like, elementary students have. Like, the little, like, plastic ones. They had keychains. And then there was a lot of, like, stuffed animals. But it was, it was really cool. Because, like, that was actually one of those things that I... When I saw that booth, I was like, oh, my God. Dragalia Lost is, like, going to keep growing and growing from here. It's great. There's already merch for it. Well, that was little, right, little, but... <laughs> little did we know. You know, what's crazy about those booths, though, is that they were like pop-up shops, too, because they weren't always around. It was like, hey, there's a side... They just post on Twitter, like, hey, there's a Psy Games pop-up shop at so-and-so area. Yeah. There for, like, two days or something. And oh, wait, yeah, that was the rambling. same shop that I bought um, my Shadowverse badges in. And there were playmats, too. Yeah, that's where you bought me a Shadowverse card now. Because it was like, it was like few in between, uh, far few and far between between um, to find a uh, a pop up shop in our area, essentially. Yeah, it was basically guaranteed that it'll be in New York City. Yeah, you know, Anime NYC, biggest anime convention. Of course, they're gonna. Yeah, of course they're gonna well, be in the, the area. East Coast. Yeah, East Coast. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, fair. Roman's like, whoa, there. <laughs> fair, fair. Bron said, check yourself. <laughs> really? You know, they really do have, they really do have a lot of, um, they have a lot more events in like the Midwest and the West and the West Coast. Not the um, Midwest, the West. <laughs> do they not count Texas as Midwest? That's just no? South. Oh. Texas is just Texas. What they do in Texas? There's hella cons. anime. There's hella cons in Texas. Yeah. Did you not only know that? The, only the ye ones. No, no. There's the hella ones. conventions. <laughs> there's hella conventions. Um, in uh, anyway. Texas, but anyway. yeah, no. It was. Oh, I think it was like a blessed moment where the stars aligned. But then. When, Not the stars. When you got there, the one plushie that I wanted, that I think everybody wanted, was all sold out. That was uh, Brunhilde, right? Or Zephyr? Yeah, Brunhilde. Brunhilde, yeah. Yeah, that was horny we, bastards. We got to that booth, and like... <laughs> see, the problem was is that when we saw Ooh, the booth Alpha. the first time, we didn't buy, because we were like, we need to see the rest of the con to like determine what we we're going to get. It was when we came back to like, alright, we gotta grab something, and it was just... Whew, that shit was cleaned out. It was funny because no one bought the dark you the dark dragon Zor. Yeah, no one just sitting there. It's so sad. <laughs> there was some Mercury's, some uh, his name was Zeph- no Midgar. The Midgard, yeah. Yeah, there was some Midgar, some Mercury, a lot, some Jupiters, a lot of Zoarks, and yeah. Yeah. They still had like folders too, but I was like, I don't want a Dragali Lost folder. Come on now. I'm gonna use a folder for her. Take it to school. You know, <laughs> to be honest, it would have been a pretty cool uh it would have been pretty cool to have a folder. Well now yeah, like I, a tiny bit of regret because I'm like, oh if I had a Dragali Lost like folder, at least I have something like yeah. I don't think I don't have a single thing about the game right now. Like no like keychain, oh, not no a... keychains or anything. No. Nah. Damn. The keychains were really generic from what I remember. It was like the logo. It, was, it just said oh, okay, off, yeah. and I was like, uh, I at least like at least give me Yudin or something, you know, like something like a character. Yeah. So I could be like, yeah, but it's just a name. It's like I can make this myself. The fuck? It's just letters. 
Plus, you know, money was also a thing because when you're at an anime con, you naturally want to buy other things. Oh, yeah. Uh, man. What a great game. I know. All right. And uh, did you guys read the end conclusion of the story? No, I no. didn't. I was going to watch um a person someone on youtube literally has the entire game like all of the stories listed out and yeah has there's, there's always, someone through. has to to do the like, the whole lore breakdown or something anyway well, we're like it's, yeah yeah it was i i would like to say it was a very nice ending to a very welcoming game like, I don't think anything was rushed. There were no plot lines or anything. Like, we got a satisfied ending to a very satisfying game. And I like to applaud Dragalia Lost for that. It was a very well written storyline, honestly. Like, I really love the story. I don't think I'm ever going to, like, find a story for, like, a game like that. Especially a mobile game. Because, let's be real, a fucking mobile game has a storyline that is, like, already messed up. For example, Fire Emblem. Like, where is that plot line? <laughs> listen, listen, just rehash the same units I'm, over and over. I'm listening to him. The latest novel in that game? Yikes. I just want side games to give us more main story in Grand Blue Fantasy. More than just three chapters in a whole fucking year. Please. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I guess that's, like, the problem with, like, gacha games, right? Like, if you're going to make a gacha game that has a story, how, it's, like, how long do you expect your story to be? And also, how long do you want your game to last? I guess. Like, I think that's definitely one of the challenging... I think that's why gacha games are, like, a dime a dozen. You look up gacha games right now, you're going to find literally hundreds. Some of them, like, uh, people don't give a shit about anymore. Some of them are getting, like, hype or something. Uh, but there are very few gacha games that can still carry the Whoa! Whoa! No, I saw what? that. <laughs> like, you, um, like, you have Fake Grand Order still going. Arknights. Arknights actually just got an anime, so they might even be doing better right now. Asia Lane. Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, for some reason, Destiny's Child's still going, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> but wait, what? What the fuck is Destiny's Child? You don't know Destiny's, I know Destiny's Child? Child. It's a it's a female group from the. Uh... <laughs> no, oh my God. I know what you're talking about. They're still making that game. Yeah, that game. Shut down. I'm pretty sure that game still. Going. Oh, no, because I'm looking at a sued. I'm looking at a gotcha game tier list, which is how I remember those names. I'm not I'm not gonna try and lie and say I have incredible memory, but uh, yeah, Destiny <laughs> Child's Destiny Child is still around. It's still around. And then you got you know <laughs> your uh, damn your Beyonce <laughs> How much are you willing to spend to pull Beyonce the seven star unit? <laughs> the S S S S S S R unit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't saying. Don't forget, you got your uh, your typical horny bait uh, gotcha games. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Destiny's Child. <laughs> yeah, Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce is is the is the horny bait gotcha game. Let's go. Yeah, right. damn it, Beyonce. We can't keep getting away with this. All right, I didn't actually write this down, but I'm actually kind of curious. What does a gotcha game need? In order to give you the same feeling that Dragalia Lost did, like what would what is your wish list from a gacha game for you to like get invested again into something new? Actually, fun gameplay. <laughs> yeah, and I mean like actiony. Doesn't be actually just something that like you have to actually focus and play, not something that like feels like it's playing itself. Yeah, I think for me because the gacha games I would play are King's Raid. Fire Emblem and like Cookie Run, and I can just auto play those games. Like, I don't have the story, does not mean anything to me in those games because I can just like skip it and auto play. Like, in Dragalia Lost, I literally felt like I was waiting for the next chapter. 
Meanwhile, like these other games are just pumping stories out that aren't even. It's it's literally like Naruto. Like you're literally waiting for the next episode while they're just playing fillers. That's how I see all these other games with their storylines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's really, it's hard. It's hard for me to follow. Like to care about the story. It's like sometimes they have interesting premises, sure, but it's like most of the part for most. Mostly like these gotcha games all have some kind of generic story. There's a big bad. You're like either underpowered or overpowered. And you're going to meet this character that's going to that there's this character that's going to join your party, but you're literally going to swap them out the second you pull a five star. And then there's this character that's actually stupid OP, but you have to like work a shit ton to get them that way. And it's, it's the same thing. Same formula. I'm just imagining. Us saying in Charlie's voice. And then here comes the joy of this. <laughs> He's going to show off his penis. Run! Huh? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? Huh? Anyway. So I'd say a memorable... <laughs> not a memorable. I'd say a very important <laughs> aspect for a uh, gotcha game for me would be um, a compelling story. If the gameplay isn't part of course then i need that spicy drama um i literally said that and tim's agreeing <laughs> okay so yeah i need that spicy <laughs> drama <laughs> like i am the drama <laughs> like um in the final fantasy game what literally has me hooked is the actual story quests like the main story mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. it's heavily political not political like you know real world political but like political in the game like you're seeing like the the movement of different kingdoms going to war with one another um reasons why they're doing it it's not just a bad guy for a, a bad guy's a bad guy because they're a bad guy they actually have stories behind them they have depth all of the characters are like fleshed out and it's ah oh, it's literally an immersive world yeah alrighty for me the thing that I would I want in a gacha game you know character designs aside lore aside I just want a game that doesn't overcomplicate like stats and like the weapons and all those micro things and what I mean by that is like when they complicate like the skill tree, when they complicate like weapons and like the, the attributes they give you, like don't make it don't make it so hard to like build characters so that you can use them. Because I feel like that's one of the biggest turnoff from a lot of game where you have to where you find yourself like scrolling through wikis to figure out how to build. And it's just it's like the dumbest thing for me. I really enjoy Dragalia Loss's like early weapon system. Where you just you just knew what you had to do. It was like, all right, this weapon, see this? This is five stars. That means it's good. Great. That's exactly what I want. And then slowly and gradually they did add like different weapons and they but after a while, like they try to complicate things and it's just that was just a huge turn off. And also mana circle is really easy to understand too. Didn't they add something yeah. to the mana circles where like you had to implement like a certain like item was it the dragons it was the uh, yeah it was the dragons the high trials man yeah you needed their scales to yeah. like access like the there, there was like the, the mana spiral and then to go beyond the mana spiral you had to use like the well, high it was, <laughs> first it was the circle then you get to the spiral yeah ah uh, yeah oh dragalia how you were then times have changed for you What's on your wish list, Mert? Uh, story and gameplay. Hence why I love ask, Genshin. Yeah. Oh, right. You were, you've, oh, you opened up with gameplay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> story and gameplay, which is why I love Genshin right now. Because Genshin's story has been really good so far. And the gameplay is obviously great. Uh-huh. This is slowly, <laughs> this is slowly do, it becoming just a uh, play Genshin like. Uh, this is me begging on my hands and 
fuck you <laughs> for you goddamn degenerates to play this game with me. Where it's like I'm no longer subliminal messaging. I'm direct messaging. I'm sliding in the DM. I, I Holds up the gun. That. I'm no longer asking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some uh, people call me a healer. Ox gun. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of bought Red Dead Redemption, and I'm really excited to play that. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> what does that have to do with Gacha games? Excuse me. <laughs> I, I guess it's Gacha one. life. <laughs> if Mer catches you playing Red Dead Redemption on like your Discord, rats you out and shit. He's gonna smack you. But I want to be a cow. Why the hell? I'm not, I'm not talking. I'm not discussing. <laughs> You're gonna see me in your yard. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You're gonna, you're gonna like turn right. it. You look at your window. Stop! Gonna, My window is wide open right now. I'm not turning around. You're gonna see Mert there, <laughs> and then the music from like the A24 films is gonna start playing. <laughs> I'm upstairs alone. You're gonna hear Dakota crying, wondering why. <laughs> Dakota, she's she's yawning. <laughs> Slowly turning into a horror movie. <laughs> I gotta call somebody by. <laughs> <laughs> I need to phone the police. <laughs> call the police. It's actually, um, what the fuck is his name? Ghostface? Be like, hi, Georgie. Wait, that's it. <laughs> huh? All right, well, Rowan is losing, uh, losing their mind in horror movie oh, references. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say, though, like, I did try Genshin in the beginning. I think all of us went into Genshin expecting it expecting dragalia no i wanted to get you expecting breath of the wild i went in yeah something you know that would make me feel like it was dragalia and when it first came out and all of that you know what i'll agree with you somewhat i was because like that i mean we were we were done with dragalia at that point and then you hear about this gotcha game that's going to also be on pc and I was like, you know what? This could be like the PC, like Dragalia, you know, a free to play experience where you just roam around, do shit and side quests and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'll mildly agree with you that I kind of was expecting like another Dragalia. But I went in fully expecting it to be our next game. That's what it was. Yeah. Like, I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? This is, this is anime as hell. Like, I really think like the squad's going to like Genshin Impact. And for a while we did. And then we all fell off of it, or no. the majority of us fell off of it. And then I never we got to play when you guys started playing, and then nobody wanted to play with me. And we were waiting for you to get to the rank you do co op, yeah. And then y'all stopped playing, you didn't hit the rank yet. <laughs> I work a job, <laughs> <laughs> that's a you problem, not a me problem. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys didn't play with me, but it's actually my fault. Hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> it didn't catch uh, my interest I'm, as much. I'm, I'm X this out. We're done here. <laughs> bye bye, not. But well, look how cute she is, though. Hello? She is cute. Who drew this? Not me. Not I. Oh my god, you drew it, head ass. Alrighty. Well, I think we said all we could about Dragali Loss, where we are yeah. today. No, 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 no. No, you got you got more things to add? What are you, you going to add? Yeah, we got to talk about the circumference and size of Brunhilda's. No, no. No. Uh, no. no. Oh, what do you mean, no? Oh, you said Brunhilda, right? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you think I was saying? <laughs> Hello? Sir? This is a Wendy's. Listen, when you start off, not a Chuck you start e. off with those two words. This is a Wendy's, not a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I, um, I'm going to choose to end it here. <laughs> <laughs> the decision. <laughs> so, with my final words, I'm going to say da, goodbye, Dragali Loss. <laughs> we will miss you. Don't know if anything's ever going to come out to scratch the itch. We will, I'll try Genshin Impact. God bless redemption. I want to thank Mert for coming back. I want to thank Tim and Rowan for being here. I want to tell smack Rowan Matthew to shut the, the fuck up. I'm saying the theme song.
That's not singing. <laughs> was she even singing? Yeah. Oh my um, god. I don't know any Hondas, so I will not tolerate any Dalko slander. Well, I love Dalko though. Dragalia Lost was a damn good game and <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to stop the recording. <laughs>